Today we are seeing the third colligative property, freezing point depression. Up to yesterday, we already see the two colligative property, which are that, that is lowering of vapor pressure and elevation in boiling point. You very well know that the colligative properties are depends only on the number of solute particles and not on the nature of the solute. Now, there are totally four colligative properties. This is the third colligative property hour that is the depression in freezing point and only one will remaining that is the osmotic pressure. Now, you know that depression, depression means decrease. Freezing point uh, is decreased when we added solute into the pure solvent. That means the uh, freezing point of the pure solvent is higher than that of the uh, solution. Now, why that happens? Now, suppose uh, we uh, have here the T0 F is the freezing point of the uh, that is pure uh, liquid, liquid solvents. Now, see here, uh, the, we are describing why these uh, freezing point of the liquid solvent is always higher than that of the solution by using this vapor pressure temperature curves. Now, here, there are three curves I plot here. Uh, now, we are plot the graph of vapor pressure versus temperature. Here, temperature increases here uh, up above vapor pressure increases. Now, this is the first one curve, curve CD. See here, of the blue line. Now, this is the curve CD. It is the vapor pressure temperature curve of pure liquid solvent. Suppose that liquid solvent is or pure water. Suppose. Now, this is the vapor pressure temperature curve of the liquid water that is the pure water. Now, when we add solute such as sugar or um, that is urea into that, then that becomes the solution. Now, this uh, second curve is again there of the red line. Now, see here, this is curve AB. Now, this is the solid solvent curve. That is the, this AB curve is the vapor pressure temperature curve of that is the solid solvent. Now, when uh, pure water liquid freezes, that becomes uh, solid. And our uh, pure uh, liquid is the water. So, suppose this is the curve of the ice here. And third curve, that is the black line of this E up. Now, see this E up is the third curve. That are the black curve. And it is the curve of vapor pressure temperature curve of solution. Suppose that is your, uh, uh, that is Pepsi. If you add sugar into the water, that on pre freezing it becomes the Pepsi like solution. Now, these all these three curves are there. First, uh, in element standard, we already see that the freezing point means what? Freezing point is the temperature at which uh, the liquid phase and the solid phase are in equilibrium. The temperature at which the liquid phase and solid phase are in equilibrium, that means their vapor pressures are same at that point. Then that temperature is called as the freezing point of that liquid. Now uh, see again the definition of freezing point of the liquid. Freezing point of the liquid is the temperature at which the two phases, solid phase and the liquid phase of the same liquid are in equilibrium and their vapor pressures are also same. Now see here, uh, at the point, this B point, I shown here the B point with red. Now this B point is on this curve, CD curve, there is the B point. Now, at this B point, what is there? At B point, the solid phase of the pure solvent and this liquid phase are in equilibrium at this B point because they intersect this AB curve 
and this CD curve intersect at this point, B point. Now see what is the temperature of that then. Uh, now you know that when the two phases that is liquid phase and solid phase are in equilibrium, the temperature at which the two phases are in equilibrium and their vapor pressures are also same. If we draw a line in from this, vapor pressures are also same as the at that point. Now see how the vapor pressure is same at the point B here. Vapor pressures of both phases are same at that point. So this B point, if we draw a straight line from this B point on this temperature line, then we obtain this temperature T0F. T0F is the freezing point of the solvent. Now see, because why it is the freezing point of the solvent? Because at B, the liquid phase and the solid phase are in equilibrium. Their vapor pressures are same. So the temperature corresponding to this point B is called as the freezing point. That is the T0F is the freezing point of the solvent. See here. Now, after addition of some solute, it becomes solution. So, uh, we already know that the graph or the curve of this solution is always at the lower side of the liquid solvent. Now, we see that into the, uh, that is uh, lowering of vapor pressure. After addition of the solute, the vapor pressure of the solvent lowered when it becomes solution. So, its graph is below the uh, graph of the a pure liquid solvent. Now, this is the graph. E up, a black line is the graph of the uh, solution, vapor pressure temperature curve of the solution. Now, see what happened at this point E. Now, at this point E, the solid solvent and the solution are in equilibrium. That means, their vapor pressures are same at that point. Now see at the E point. At point E, uh, both uh, that is the solution and the uh, solid solvent. That means ice and solution both have the same vapor pressure. And the point E, uh, at this point E, when solid uh, solvent and solution are in equilibrium, then the temperature corresponding to this point E, is the T up. Now this T up is the freezing point of the solution. Now what we are seeing into this figure. Now as here temperature increases that means T0 up is greater than this T up. T up is lower. After addition of the solute to freeze that solution temperature must be lower and then and then it freezes. Now see this is the difference between the two temperature delta T up that is equal to delta T up is equal to T0 F minus T up that means this is the difference and this difference is called as the freezing point depression delta T up is called as the freezing point depression because there uh, now again there is the question why this uh, always the freezing point of solution lower than that of the pure solvent? That is the very important question in your mind. Why it is lower? Why that uh, happen actually? Now see, when a pure liquid is there, when it started to freeze, that means pure water started to freeze into the ice. Now there is only solvent molecules into that. Now there is strong attractive intermolecular attractive forces between that solvent molecules. And when it freezes, the intermolecular attractive forces as they are higher, it freezes at the, uh, that is, they, they freezes very earlier due to the strong attractive forces. But when we add the solute into that, what happen? The solute takes the spaces between the two solvent molecules. That means uh, there is the intermolecular attraction between the solvent molecule decreases due to the solute molecules. And for that, to freeze then such a solution, the, they require higher time. That means they require 
lower temperature the temperature must be lower again and then and then that freezes so uh, during the when we you uh, that is eating such as the ice candy or pepsi now see there is the mixture of salt and ice when that uh, that is the ice candy seller when uh, put its candy into that uh, uh, that is the container and that container is put again into the ice and uh, salt mixture because due to the ice and salt mixture what happened the temperature decreases from 0 to minus degree so here suppose uh, suppose this is the freezing point of our water that is it uh, this is the ice freezing point 0 degree centigrade now above the 0 degree centigrade there are the positive temperatures and to these sides of the 0 degree centigrade there are the negative temperature so always the solution freezes at lower temperature that is negative temperature now that is the reason why always the freezing point of the solutions are lower than that of the pure solvent now this is the uh, consequence of freezing point depression and vapor pressure of the uh, solvent now this is the graph uh, now see very well of this and observe and study of that.